As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Giddings. Today, we're designing for Priya in Atlanta. This is her first home with her husband, and she's super excited to make it comfortable and bringing elements of their personality. And they've asked for a reading nook. Hi, I'm Priya Patel. I am based in Atlanta, Georgia. And this is actually the first day in our new house. And this is our first place together after six years. So we're really excited to make our home super comfortable and include elements of us. Um, and we're really excited about this area behind me, which we're hoping to turn into a little reading nook um, with book shelving along the window and possibly a day bed or something at the bottom uh, to just have a cup of coffee and grab a good book. A reading nook is so much fun to design because it has to express personality while at the same time meeting the needs of the family. And it just so happens Priya has the perfect spot for one. But it's at the foot of a staircase. So that means that even though we can fill in that space rather well, we can't push it out too much because it's gonna get in the way of the staircase. So what do we do with a space like this? Can I say first of all that this is a very difficult thing to design because I didn't get a lot of direction from Priya. They just said they wanted comfort, maybe a day bed, but what's your style? Like which direction do we go? The only cues I have are from the rest of the apartment. Looking at their photos, it looks like this is a clean, modern space. The trim details are squared off, which is a modern detail. Their lighting fixtures are very clean. And so I'm gonna propose two relatively modern designs. I've got some ideas and I think you're gonna like them too, Priya. So let's start drawing. The first design I'd like to present to Priya has a large frame around the window set at an angle so that it picks up the light that's coming in from the window and refracts it back into the room. This is called diffuse light and it has a quality all of its own that everybody appreciates, especially when you're trying to create comfort and coziness. So the full frame wraps the window. The full bookcase fits into the depth of the frame. So if you think of the window as being planar with the wall, we thicken that wall with the angled out frame that picks up all the light that the window is bringing in. And in the thickness of that frame is where the bookshelves fit. So this is an upside down U shaped bookshelf, really maximizing how many books can fit on this wall. Beneath it all is a day bed, full length for the full width of the space that way if Priya or anyone felt like lying down at some point, they'd be welcome to. At the same time, it's a bench. I'm thinking underneath it could be storage as well, so you're not wasting any space. The fabric touches for this nook are crucial because they bring a sense of design as well as a sense of the personality of the homeowners. In the first drawing, I'm showing a men's suit fabric like twill or tweed or plaid and one large overscaled cushion for comfort and of course a throw, you've got to have a throw. And I'm also bringing in art because we've got an enclosed space here. We've got three walls facing each other. I think it's a great opportunity to bring in art on the walls. And this is where the personality comes in. So Priya, I hope you start collecting art. If not, photographs work, posters work, concerts you've been to. Bringing your personality into the walls within this nook, there are plenty of spaces for it. An important detail with this first design is how I've changed the overhead lighting from a recessed can to a can dependent conversion. Now, I'm not saying rip into the ceiling and redo your electrical, although you're welcome to do that as well. There are recessed can to pendant conversion kits that come with different lamps that fit on top of them. And I think this could do you guys a real solid here because what you want isn't top down light that's harsh, what you want is a kind of general glow. That's what I'm trying to express here. Now, for this next design, I think you're gonna like it because I fully embraced the modern sensibility of your condo. It's an asymmetrical bookshelf that goes up one side and over the window. And within the bookshelf is a swagged light fixture that actually pokes through a hole in the bookcase 
and dangles directly over where you will be sitting and reading with your cup of coffee and your favorite book. The idea with this, of course, is to bring in some intimate lighting to where you and your book are and using the recessed can as the only electricity you need to do this. Another detail I really like here is that the bench is extra deep, but not full length. So this is really a curl up into it nook. The modern sensibility is reintroduced by having the seat stick out past the depth of the bookcase. It almost looks like a plane has folded down and could fold back up if need be. Of course, it's not gonna fold really, Although if you wanted to, you could probably put storage underneath these benches. For the bench in the second design, I've picked a specific fabric. It's from Merimekko, which I love. It's called Minstery, spelled with a Y. Check it out. Floral, at the same time, modern and clean. The fabric is a great opportunity for you to be able to express your personality. So find something interesting. Have this cushion custom made for the space. Another detail I like about this is that it has different kinds of wall space for different kinds of art. We've got the large wall space to the left of this drawing, which is adjacent to the staircase as you're coming down. So probably a bigger piece of art goes there. Something a little smaller goes right behind the reading nook, something a bit more intimate, maybe more personal. And then that long, thin slot of space next to the balcony door could be, I don't know, something long and thin. I'm also submitting a different rendering here that shows the same bookcase in white. There's a way of imagining this bookcase as an extension of the trim. So the trim folds in where the nook is going to be and then suddenly explodes into this bench area with a bookshelf that wraps around it. So this is up to you. Do you want the bookshelf to feel like part of the trim work and maybe it was always part of this house? Or do you want to feel like it was your incursion into this space, an expression of your own personality? And I think probably the best way of doing that is to pick a material that you're especially proud of. So I hope one of these two designs speaks to you, Priya. It was a lot of fun designing for you. I didn't know what you were looking for, so I kind of am offering up a couple shots in the dark here. So let me know what resonated with you, what didn't. And if there were questions that I didn't answer, please ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get all the latest episodes in In The Room. And I can't wait to see what questions you come up with for next week. See you soon. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at Shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.